Welcome to 23 Degrees Sideways. We're going to talk a little bit more about tipping culture, and this time we're going to do a short video and we're going to talk about individual people and how they interact. I touched on this in the first one, but I want to make it really clear what, what, what my perception of this is. The thing about tipping culture is that when you're involved in a, in a situation, restaurant situation, you're going out to eat, someone is putting themselves below you. The ideal situation is for them to create an enjoyable experience. It's not just about getting the maximum amount of calories at the minimum cost to shove in your face as fast as you can. That's Taco Bell or Jack in the Box, okay? Crappy calories, fast as you can, cheapest possible price, and they still upsell you all sorts of stuff so, when, so a $5 lunch becomes $20, whatever. Okay, that's 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 jack in the box. That's not going to a restaurant, going to a bar. You can go to a bar and eat. You can go to a bar and not get drunk. <laughs> you can go to a bar and socialize and drink if you do drink, whatever. But remember, it's not about getting shit faced and falling face down on the floor. There are a lot of social things about going to a bar or a restaurant. And the server is trying to give you that experience, be below you, be of service. And that's a very uncomfortable thing for a lot of Americans. We're not, we're not indoctrinated very well on how to deal with that graciously. We don't have the innate class system that you have in much of Europe, including places like Germany and France. This isn't limited to England. Hell, this isn't even outside of um, culture in Sweden or Denmark. There is still class. So we don't have that, that class system to look, fall back on, which is not a great system, but we don't have a good way to acknowledge service and be grant humanity. Some customers are very good at doing that, but not all. So one of the ways you do deal with service and stuff is that you pay. You give a tip. You give a significant tip if it's been especially good. You give a tip according to your generosity and your finances. Um, and if you feel bad about that, what is it you're really feeling bad about? You're, you're bad, you feel bad because the restaurant has added a tax, that you, that, a hidden tax. It's like you know going in if it's a tipping place or not. Come on. It's not hidden. You just don't like it. You just don't like the idea of tipping. And that's usually... Again, a selfishness thing, a point of view, selfish point of view. Um, and I don't, selfishness can be good. In this case, I don't think it really is. I don't think it helps you. So what you're dealing with here is a situation where you are getting someone below you. They're serving you. They're trying to make your date better, your business lunch better, your your goals, your desires, your enjoyment, your entertainment, your social lubrication. I'm trying to make that all better for you. And one of the ways you deal with that is to make it transactional. We're, we're, we're very bad in our society at just dealing with these things with grace. We're very bad at giving with grace. We're very bad at receiving with grace. Help is a big trigger, especially in the West. It's a big trigger for humans in general, but a really big trigger in the West. We're really bad at help, giving and receiving. So the tipping thing gives you a lubrication point. It gives you a point where you can be like, yes, he did such a good job. He made my life better for that hour. I'm going to give him a tip. Um, and it works. Just plainly and simply, it works. You know, it helps. It helps when you realize that the attention, the attention you get from a server, like a decent server, will actually pay attention to you. It's probably the best attention you've gotten outside of potentially a relationship, or having a toddler, in weeks, months, years. You know. So there's that. It's very helpful and healthful, and you know, being able to relax and have your needs met. Very helpful. Very. Very, very helpful, very therapeutic. And do you pay for that? Well, yeah. 
but in this case, it's more of an exchange of gifts. Yes, there's an expectation behind the gifts, but it's still more of an exchange than it is a um, tax, you know, a mandatory tax that the owner has put on me. That's, you know, don't go out to eat. If that's honestly how you feel, just go to Jack in the Box and leave it alone. You know. So that's that's it. There's there's a lubrication factor there. It's a benefit to your humanity, not just the situation involved, okay? It's a benefit to your humanity, to the humanity of the other person, the other people involved, the server. And it's a pretty cool thing, you know? I'm in favor of tipping culture. I've done it in... I have tipped on four continents. Like, I've tipped in a lot of countries. And that's that's what I got. It's a social lubrication that you should engage in and be generous with. Stay sideways. <laughs>